in my opinion, I think you're the greatest player that's ever put a cue together. <laughs> this is Billy Incardona, a veteran pool player and a Hall of Famer who considers Efren Reyes as the greatest pool player he has ever seen. Who wouldn't agree? Because did you know that Efren Reyes is not just a 5-time or 10-time winner, but a 13-time Derby City Classic champion, a prestigious tournament held yearly in the United States. He is a 6-time One Pocket Champion, the only 5-time Master of the Table, and a 2-time Nine Ball Champion. No other pool player in history has ever achieved this feat. Only the great Filipino player, Efren Bata Reyes. It's the most famous name in the game. It's the magician, Efren Reyes. Well, maybe I get lucky. <laughs> Let's revisit one particular match from the Derby City Classic 2004 where he faced off against Finland's best player and witness why Efren Reyes is considered the greatest pool player of all time and why players would try to avoid playing him fearing his skills. Like this video now and let's dive into the pool action. This match is the semi-finals of the Derby City Classic 2004 in the 9 ball division. Mika Imunen of Finland versus Efren Reyes of the Philippines. This is a short race to 7 games, a winner's break format rule is in effect. Mika Imunen here aiming for a 1-5 combination shot. This left pocket and vice versa. So I expect them to oh, run out and have a chance to run out. Well, it was really important for Mika to <laughs> jump out of the gate. It was a close one, but still it missed the mark. As you just saw, but was unable to put down the one five combination. Now Ray steps to the table. Balls are in the open and Mr. Ray is at the table. He takes care of business. Yeah, you should have the rack in your hand ready to play today, and that's easy. In this tournament, Efren played terrifically on the winner's side until he effortlessly reached the semi-finals of this event. I see no problems here, especially Efren Reyes. Sometimes, look at this. Every time he sees an opening, he seems to get out every time. But then he would have kicked it in some way. Oh, the cue ball where the six is right now may be a problem. That's what he's going to do. He's going around the nine, traveling a little extra with the cue ball, but a fair trade off. The Derby City Classic event that has been in existence since 1997. Well, he went forward. He had a little angle. He wanted to get close as he can to the nine, which you always try to do. But he should handle it. And the gentleman from the Philippines got his first rack of the match. Here we go. The six is the wing ball. I'll bet the oh, uh, the six missed by a hair, but I, I was wrong. But look at the way they stopped. We now proceed to rack two. Efren Reyes with the break. Three is in the open gate. So from the six to the seven is a little bit of a problem. And also from the five to the six. So therefore, he's going to have to come up with a good angle on the five. He made two balls on the break and with an opening shot on the two. Yeah. If he plays position for, yeah. but that's what he gets paid for. And he's been getting paid pretty well lately. He tells me that no, he's not. Observe how the magician selects a layout to solve this rack. For the six and the angle will get to the seven. If he goes that way, which he did. See it? Now he's fine. Now that's right where I thought he should have gone to begin with. He yeah. wasn't really comfortable with that, so he made the correct decision, particularly now the way he laid on the six. Very the crucial nice. part of this rack is from the six ball to the seven ball. But our friend lands on the good side of the six to stun the cue ball towards the seven next. 
It's all you have to do with someone like Ephraim. Therefore, if he has the good feel pocketing the one on the side, Mickey may not have too many He is a truly master and a genius at work. He wants to run the ball. Pool fans, comment Ephraim Goat in the comments below. Thank you very much. Straight in. Notice the one on the side. Right. That's the ball. Both of those been going. But that's the ball. We have now reached oh, rack three. Efren Reyes on the lead, two to, to zero. Behind the orange five, not allowing Reyes at the table with an offensive shot. He has to look elsewhere. I think he's going to try to fan the two and put him in such good cue ball control. That's a, that's, a that's what he's doing. Excellent observation, and yep. you hit it right on the head when you yep. said he's got great cue ball control. And I've been talking for days about when you're going to snooker a guy, it's... <laughs> yeah, boy. Wow! It's way bigger if you freeze the guy on the ball, you're snookering him. After a long while, Mika Imunen returns to the table facing a challenging situation. The cue ball is nestled deep behind the nine ball, severely limiting his options for making a legal hit on the two ball. This is a truly difficult scenario for the Iceman. If you are in this situation, pool fans, what will you do? Comment your thoughts below. Oh, he's going to go past it. He's mad saying it. I see. He's bending it. Yeah. The disappointment on Mika's face is truly visible, as he appears very upset by this situation. When you're playing out there, Additionally, Efren Reyes gains ball in hand. He's going to get close to the five, and he's going to go toward the five in line. Draw it back a few feet and get straight in. No, you don't have to. Feel good about your ball pocket. You know, if you can pocket balls, you're confident. And if you give the magician control of the table, he will surely capitalize. But when he gets in this kind of gear, it looks like he's never going to move. Pool fans, comment what country you are tuning in from. In the early years, Mike Siegel. Thank you very much. After Siegel, uh, Here we go in Rock 4. Efren still dominating 3 to 0. Right. So, and beyond. So, it's a tough question. Um, annual US Open non ball championships will be held September 19th through the. He makes a ball on the break and sets himself up with an open table layout. Players, $200 entrance fee. Anybody can play, and I'm adding 10000 on venue. And now that I've remodeled Cuba. If Efren continues to break and shoot like this, it will be very hard for Mika Imunen to get a chance to get back on the table. You've taught me well that you step, step, stop it up visiting with this very once again. What an effortless break and run out from the Filipino legend. Because when a player is playing real well, it looks Seven easy. Ball. Seven ball. Ooh, he missed. Not, but the one in the side went again. I, one just, or the I want to bring that to a... Powerful. Yeah, but once again, the five ball came in between the cue ball and the two ball. So he's opting to push. Okay. okay. What's now? We now proceed to rack five. Now, this is a very interesting rack. Efren went for the push out here, and it's Mika's choice to shoot it or pass. Go back down this end of the table where the nine and four is, and maybe he'll end up with a fairly good safe. But this is a good opportunity for the Iceman to play a some kind of defensive shot. Play safe all the way here. That's what he did, and it's going to be a decent one. Okay, now he's left Reyes a shot on the two, a very, very difficult one. It was a good effort, but Efren can still see the two ball. Oh, at this, this Efren is a very tough shot. You know, he's trying to do that, though. See, this was the problem, all the obstructions, you know. And now he's safe. Made a great shot. Yes, the he position did. was so tough. Yes, it was. It, it, was, it, it was just... Efren makes the long cut on the two, but gets himself hooked behind the eight. He has no direct shot on the three ball, but watch what happens here, as the magician goes to calculate and aim to make the three ball. He hit it. He hit Not it. Not only did he hit it, he, he made hit, it inside on a kiss. He hit it straight in the face. Oh boy! 
you know, you say, boy, you got lucky, but you, sometimes you earn it. You earn, you, you earn the right to get lucky. I have a saying about that. You got surprise. What a shot from the magician. He went for the one rail kick. He hits the three ball full and somehow the three ball kissed off the cue ball and went straight to the side pocket. It is worth noting that this is not a lucky shot. Efren already calculated where the three ball would go, as you can see here. He missed the ball. That was a tough kick. Right. Yeah, you gotta play well enough. Oh, you overcut the room, right? This is truly a tough moment for Mika Imunen. He believed he would have a chance to return to the table after Efren hooked himself. But sadly, he remains in his chair at this point. What sets apart Efren from any other pro pool player is his exceptional kicking skills. With a background in carom and three cushion billiards, he has a deep understanding of angles and trajectories, which allows him to excel, especially in tough situations. Pool fans, if you have reached this far, comment which part of the globe you are tuning in from whether it may be in the USA, Asia, or Europe. Thank you very much. Okay, he wasn't able to pocket the one in the side. He made it, made but the ball in the other two side. In the, in the this is rack six. The score stands at five out, to nothing. And he won't have to worry about the side. Oh, oh look at this shot. Oh, he didn't want to fool the side. So oh, far, a complete right. domination by the Filipino player. Wow, what a call and what a shot. What a shot! What Michael Jordan calls the zone. It doesn't matter where he's at. He's Having won this tournament countless times before, Efren Reyes shows no signs of pressure or tension. His composed demeanor and confident play are a true testament to his status as a champion. He's playing as well now as I've ever seen him play. Right. As you know, it's tough to play. How do you play against someone that's playing perfect? And the magician reaches the heel first without breaking a sweat. Well, you know, he lets his stick do all his bragging. Yeah. That's, that's what it's all about, yeah, you know what I mean? Right. And when you listen to people say how good... We are here in rack 7. Whatever. Now, this is an interesting rack once again. But the, your stick does the talking. Yeah. And Ray is back. So Efren makes a ball on the break and will play safe on the one ball here. I let him see an edge. I do believe he can see the bottom of the one. Yeah. Oh, well, he, someone like that, you know? He just looks that way, though. Some people look that way, and they're stone killers. But anyway. Now Mika gets a chance and performs a counter save on his own. Oh, he mishit that. Yeah, he was cutting it. He overcut it. He mishit that. But he at this point, Mika sees an opening, but a tough combination or a karom shot is the only available option on the one ball. Right. Okay, now he played the five. I think he's thinking to control the one ball. That's a funny He shot that guy as well. He could see the that. That one off the top shelf. And that's what you expect when a guy's losing 6 nothing. Well, he was able to bypass. It was a long time since Mika Imunen potted the ball. It must have felt good. But still, this rack layout is still very, very tough. Straight in under three. It's, it's like you said, Billy, he just... <laughs> too much of a you can clearly see the frustration in Mika's body language. It's understandable that he's struggling considering his minimal table time in this match, which may have affected his confidence. Get out that guy. Now, that's not going to work. Too soft. That's not going to work. He's going to be able... He's going to have a, a real tough shot on this read. Yeah, unless but he cross he, If he's able to execute this shot... This is something we'll go back on because it's going to be a beautifully no. executed He shot. played safe instead. And that's what, what else he, I guess he had in his favor. But look at this pool fence. Look at the cue ball. But, but what you said, he played safe instead. You know, there are some... Suerte. 
<laughs> this must be a very disappointing moment for Mika Imunen because even though Efren missed the three, he landed on a safety spot. That's a big ball. I think he'd hit it anyway. Oh my goodness. Well, it's another pack your bag effort here. <laughs> Mika Imunen attempted a difficult two rail kick shot for the three. But unfortunately, he barely missed it. Efren gains a ball in hand, possibly bringing this one-sided match to a close. You know, double difficult. That's what he has done. He's looked at our... This is my favorite layout. We're not going to do uh, an in off their uh, work. 7 nothing. Well, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to have to have come, come with a special effort and get a little lucky to beat Reyes in this first. Efren Reyes secured an incredible victory against Finland's top player Mika Imunen with a stunning 7-0 scoreline. His flawless performance showcased the caliber of his play at that time. Advancing to the finals, Efren continued his winning streak, ultimately clinching the title of the Derby City Classic 2004. With an impressive 13 Derby City Classic wins under his belt, Efren's dominance in this prestigious tournament remains unmatched to this day. If you agree that Efren Reyes is the greatest of all time, leave a comment saying Efren Goat and don't forget to like this video so others can witness why he deserves the title of the greatest pool player of all time. Thank you very much for watching as always pool fans. God bless and see you in the next match. Subscribe to see more.